I'm speaking today with Ian Johnson, who is the Chief Executive of Asia Pacific for SWIFT. Thanks for speaking to us today, Ian. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we're, I wanted to sort of get straight into it. Uh, here we are um, Here we are in Asia, two years after, I guess, the onset of the global financial crisis. Now, during this time, of course, uh, the international banks that, that you know, were the leaders in certain businesses, like, such as in transaction banking, uh, had to regroup. Uh, Asian banks have seen themselves with sort of a unique opportunity to, uh, I guess, move into new business areas to, mm. to regionalize. Mm. Some of them have taken taken that opportunity and other, others are probably in the planning stages. Uh, at SWIFT, what are you seeing in, t in terms of this space? Yeah, certainly. Well, first of all, to give you a bit of a profile of, of SWIFT's business in the Asia-Pacific region at, at a very high level, um, the, the um, the business is very much dominated by, um, let, let me call them Western banks, so either European or US banks. Um, uh, the vast majority of the messaging which goes over the SWIFT network, even here in Asia. So um, I, I think that there is a dynamic there that we see uh, the dominance of the global banks, at least as far as our business is concerned, which is primarily cross-border but does have an element of domestic as well. Now, uh, I think if we go back to the, the GFC, what, what we saw was, whether it's opportunistic or not, but we saw uh, banks in the Asia-Pacific region want to flex their muscle more. And we saw Nomura's acquisition of the Lehman's business. We saw ANZ's acquisitions in the region and a pan-regional uh, strategy to grow their business in Asia-Pacific. There are some aspirations by the other Australian banks, but they, they're not in the same uh, not to, to the same extent or the same level as ANZ have progressed. I think also we see uh, banks like uh, DBS as well here in Singapore uh, with a, a regional strategy and, and uh, even, even to a certain extent if you look at uh, uh, ICBC and the acquisition of um, shares in South Africa in, in Standard Bank, it's a different play but the aspiration of banks in Asia to grow their business either within the region or even outside. So it's definitely a trend, and it's one I think that we would all support. And certainly from the perspective of um, <clears throat> my own personal perspective, when I look at the balance of uh, and the role of Asian banks or banks based here in Asia versus the global banks, I think that the, um, the, the, the um, diversity and availability of a broader range of service providers is, is going to be uh, important. And, and there's one other aspect I think that's playing on that too, is going to be the role of regulators and how the regulators are applying their uh, requirements in each geogra geography around the region. And I think that's going to impact not only the opportunities for Asian banks to expand within the region, but it's also going to impact the role of uh, global banks operating within the region as well. Okay. I guess for. Uh Maybe it sounds like what you're seeing is that the, the Asian banks haven't really stepped up to the plate as much as it might look. Um, is there sort of a, a gap in terms of the technology that they, that they need to address or, or let's say that they want to they aspire to greater things? You know, what, what do they need to do to, yeah. sort of, to, to fill I, that gap? I, I think, uh, you know, often I'm asked about Asia and Asia strategy and the, and the first thing I, I always say is, look, there is no one Asia. Asia is a group of countries geographically co-located but they are all very different and I think that applies to the banks as well so to if you wanted to generalize you you could say you could try and find technology gaps and there would be banks in Asia who are lacking in in uh, in the development of technology but you know I've, I've argued for a long time uh, that if you looked at the um, payments uh, industry in, in Australia as an example that it had lagged behind what we see in Asia and elsewhere. So there are pockets where I think Asian banks and individual banks within Asia are equal to uh, world standard or even ahead. Um, having said that I think that uh, from an infrastructure perspective there is definitely a lot more that could be done to harmonize and standardize infrastructure around the region. Particularly here in ASEAN as the um, uh, the, the governments in this sub-region have an intention to uh, have a harmonised market. It's going to be very important to have a standardised platform and uh, a and harmonised platform around the region for all of the financial communications to take place. And obviously, you know, an advertorial, that's Swift's role to do that, uh, to do that sort of thing. So <clears throat> individual banks, yes, some will lag, some will be at, at world class. Well, maybe uh, on, on, maybe on another sort of enabler, uh, 
IT is one enabler, mm -hmm. I think collaboration is another enabler. Uh, we've sp uh, spoken to the business forum quite a lot about collaboration. I think mm -hmm. we saw uh, in the opening plenary uh, some of the global banks coming up and, and, and mm -hmm. much more uh, open about the way they collaborate. Uh, certainly regulation is, I think, forcing banks to collaborate much more than, than they used might have been tempted to do so in the past. Uh, how do you see the collaboration space between banks evolving now? Well, uh, it definitely is changing. Um, uh, there have there had been strategies by a number of banks to do everything everywhere uh, up until the GFC, um, and 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 that's ca caused a rethink. But I also think the regulation issue is going to you know banks having to apply with uh, individual regulators' requirements, and particularly if they're not standardised. But even if they are standardised, they're time and time again they have to comply with regulations in each country that they go into. So I think there's going to be a shift in the way correspondent banking. Uh, evolves because of the need for more collaboration and less direct participation in those markets. But I think there is one other factor that you, you mentioned too, but I think there's one other factor that, that is going to be really important in Asia as far as the development is concerned in the banking and financial services sector, and that's about the, the, the hunt and search for talent. Um, you know, there, there are the, the, uh, at, the, uh, at the summit, we recognise banking talent in the region, but the, the industry is, is growing so fast and the opportunities, whether it's in India, in China or in ASEAN, for the development of financial services is, is outstanding. And uh, you know, finding the right people, training people to be able to step up and, and lead banks. So I think leadership and management of banks um, is a global issue but certainly finding the talent as this market expands quickly. And finding the talent, and you know, it might be strange for an Australian to say, but to find the talent in Asia with the language skills, whether it's uh, Mandarin or, or whether uh, it might be Japanese or Thai, I think that's going to be important as well. Um, I guess we're a couple of months away from Saibos. Uh, maybe can you give me some thoughts on uh, where the conversation is going to be for, for Asian banks and yeah. Saibos this year in Toronto? I, I think um, Saibos is always a great venue for people to get together and share views. And what we'll be doing, um, Saibos is um, going to be in Osaka next year. It was in Hong Kong two years ago. So what we try to do is continue the debate about the role of Asia and the development of, of Asian financial services. So we'll have um, uh, one of the sessions uh, in, in Cybos will be very much focused with Asian participants focusing on uh, the, a the banking and financial services industry in Asia and the direction it's taking and how the banks need to uh, evolve to face the, the new challenges that, uh, that, are, that, that are emerging in the region. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, we'll catch up to you. You're welcome. You're welcome to join us. See you then. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.